Imagine a place so vast, so filled with knowledge that it became the intellectual hub of the ancient world. Picture the Library of Alexandria, a beacon of wisdom in antiquity, standing tall and majestic, its halls echoing with the whisperings of countless scrolls. It was a treasure trove of knowledge, a monumental testament to mankind's insatiable thirst for understanding. Its grandeur was matched only by the depth and breadth of the wisdom it contained. This is the story of the Library of Alexandria, an institution that has left an indelible mark on human history. Our tale begins with the founding of the library, a grand project initiated by Ptolemy I Soter. The crown jewel of the Ptolemaic dynasty, this library was born out of the desire to elevate Alexandria to the pinnacle of learning and culture. Ptolemy, a former general of Alexander the Great, envisioned a repository of knowledge that would outshine all others. In the heart of the bustling metropolis of Alexandria, construction began. Stone by stone, scroll by scroll, the library began to take shape. It was more than just a building. It was a symbol of the power and influence of the Ptolemaic dynasty. The library wasn't just for the royals though. It was accessible to scholars from all walks of life, a testament to Ptolemy's belief in the power of knowledge. It was a place where the greatest minds of the time could gather, debate, and push the boundaries of human understanding. Thus was born the Library of Alexandria, a beacon of knowledge and learning. As the library grew, so did its reputation. It soon became a magnet for the greatest minds of the era. The Library of Alexandria was not just a building filled with scrolls, it was a pulsating center of intellectual thought and discovery, a beacon that attracted scholars and philosophers from across the ancient world. As the library's collection of manuscripts expanded it became a reservoir of knowledge that was unparalleled in the ancient world. The scrolls contained within its walls were not merely books, they were the thoughts, theories and discoveries of the greatest minds of the time. From the famed mathematician Euclid who laid the foundation of geometry, to the ingenious inventor Archimedes, the library was a nurturing ground for intellect and innovation. It was a place where scholars could learn, debate and create new knowledge, Imagine the whispering voices of scholars as they discussed their theories, the rustling of scrolls being unfurled, the scratch of quills as new ideas were recorded for posterity. The library was not just about philosophy and science, it was also a treasure trove of literature, history, and art. The epic poems of Homer, the tragedies of Sophocles, the histories of Herodotus, all these found a home in the library, it held a vast collection of works, from the profound to the mundane, from the divine to the earthly. But the Library of Alexandria was more than just a storehouse of books, it was a place of dialogue and discussion, a venue for the exchange of ideas. It was a place where knowledge was not just preserved but also generated. It was a hub of intellectual activity where scholars could engage with each other's ideas, challenge existing theories, and forge new paths of thought. The library was not just a physical space, it was an intellectual space, a vibrant community of scholars. It was a place where knowledge was valued, where intellectual curiosity was encouraged, and where the pursuit of truth was the ultimate goal. The Library of Alexandria was not just a library, it was the heart of intellectual life in the ancient world. But all was not well in the annals of history, a great fire engulfed the library resulting in the loss of countless treasures. A blaze of such magnitude that it would forever etch itself into the pages of human history, the burning of the Library of Alexandria. Theories abound as to the cause of this devastating fire. Some historians suggest that it was the result of Julius Caesar's war in Egypt in 48 BC. In the throes of battle it's said that Caesar set his own ships ablaze, and the fire accidentally spread to the library. Yet, this theory is not universally accepted, as some argue that the library was not near enough to the harbor for the flames to reach it. Others believe that the library was not destroyed in a single cataclysmic event, but rather suffered a slow decline over centuries. They propose that a series of smaller fires, coupled with neglect and the gradual withdrawal of funding, led to its eventual downfall. Still, another theory implicates the religious zeal of Theophilus, the Bishop of Alexandria, in the late 4th century AD. It's speculated that he ordered the destruction of the library as part of a campaign against pagan institutions. And then, there is the theory that the Muslim conquest of Egypt in the 7th century was the final blow for the library. Supposedly the Caliph Omar ordered all books that did not align with the teachings of the Quran to be destroyed. These theories, each with its own merits and shortcomings, have sparked heated debates among historians for centuries. 
Despite the uncertainty, one fact remains undisputed. The loss to human knowledge was immense. Imagine the works of great thinkers, the discoveries of pioneering scientists, and the narratives of ancient civilizations, all turned to ash. The Library of Alexandria, once a beacon of knowledge, was reduced to ruins, its vast collection of manuscripts lost forever. The scale of this tragedy is hard to comprehend, a cultural loss so immense that it continues to reverberate through the ages. The burning of the Library of Alexandria remains one of the greatest cultural tragedies in human history. Despite its tragic end, the Library of Alexandria left a lasting legacy. This grand institution, once the heart of intellectual progress, has had an enduring influence on the development of science, philosophy, and literature. Its halls, once filled with the brightest minds of the ancient world, fostered groundbreaking studies that continue to shape our understanding of the world. From Euclid's geometric principles to Archimedes' laws of physics, the Library of Alexandria was a cradle for scientific innovation. The library was not just a repository of knowledge, but a beacon that drew scholars from across the known world. The intellectual discourse that took place within its walls laid the groundwork for philosophical thought and literary expression. It was here that the foundations of Stoicism were laid, and where the works of Homer were meticulously preserved and studied. Despite the devastating fire the spirit of the Library of Alexandria did not perish. It lived on in the later libraries that sprang up in Alexandria, continuing the tradition of intellectual pursuit and preservation of knowledge. These later libraries, while not as grand or as extensive as the original, maintained the essence of their predecessor. In more recent times efforts have been made to recreate the Library of Alexandria. The Bibliotheca Alexandrina, inaugurated in the early 21st century, is a testament to the enduring legacy of the ancient library. It aims to recapture the spirit of knowledge and learning that once thrived in Alexandria, serving as a modern embodiment of the ancient world's intellectual heart. The Library of Alexandria may have been lost to the flames, but its spirit lives on in every library and center of learning around the world. Each book on a shelf, every scholar in pursuit of knowledge, is a testament to the lasting influence of this iconic institution. Its legacy is not confined to the past, but continues to shape the future, reminding us that knowledge, once kindled, can never truly be extinguished. Even today, the Library of Alexandria is shrouded in myths and mysteries. A structure of such grandeur, teeming with the world's knowledge, is bound to inspire intrigue and speculation. One of the most captivating mysteries revolves around the fire that ravaged the library. The exact date, cause, and extent of the fire remain subjects of debate. Some say it was Julius Caesar's troops, others point to a riotous mob, while some attribute the fire to a series of smaller incidents over time. The true answer may be lost to the ages. The library's vast collection of scrolls is another source of fascination. It's said that the library held between 400,000 and 700,000 scrolls. But what knowledge did these scrolls contain? What wisdom has been lost to us forever in the flames? There are tales of lost works by great thinkers such as Aristotle, Sophocles, and Euripides. It's said that Aristarchus's only copy of his heliocentric theory, where he posited that the earth revolved around the sun, was housed in the library. Could the scientific revolution have occurred centuries earlier, if this knowledge hadn't been lost? The library was also rumored to house a secret room where forbidden knowledge was kept. Legends speak of mystical texts and arcane rituals, a treasure trove for the curious and the brave. Did such a room exist and if so, what secrets did it hold? The enduring allure of the Library of Alexandria is not just about what was lost, but also about what it represents. It was a beacon of knowledge, a symbol of the human thirst for understanding, and a testament to the power of collective wisdom. It brought together scholars from different cultures, fostering a vibrant intellectual community, and catalyzing advancements in various fields. The library's influence extended beyond its physical walls. It shaped how libraries were built and operated, inspiring generations of scholars and thinkers. It served as a blueprint for future libraries and centers of learning, making knowledge accessible to the masses. Despite the myths and mysteries that surround it, the legacy of the Library of Alexandria is undeniable. It stands as a powerful reminder of the importance of preserving knowledge, of the value of intellectual exchange, and of the transformative power of curiosity. The Library of Alexandria remains a symbol of human knowledge and curiosity, a testament to our never-ending quest for understanding. 
It is a captivating narrative of our collective journey towards comprehension, a story that continues to unfold as we seek to unravel the mysteries of our world.